Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to Isha Gaming. I have recently picked up this game. Now this game is Harvest Moon Light of Hope Special, it says special edition on it. I don't know what that means, but it's the only edition I've found anyway. I didn't plan on picking this game up actually, that happened by accident and randomness on GameStop because I was actually going to boycott this game. I was going to boycott this game because it looked so terrible first time I saw this game. Saw the trailer and like gameplay. Anyways, the story is that this is not really a Harvest Moon game. Uh, it is Harvest Moon only in name, but it's not the same development team as the good part of Harvest Moon, the way that I know the series. So it's kind of a new series now. Original Harvest Moon is now Story of Seasons, but Natsume owns the name. And so they started making their own series. This is uh, Natsume and it's made by Rising Star Games. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna give this a chance, give it a try, because I never really gave it a chance uh, to begin with. So this game is a single player farming simulator by Rising Star Games and published by Natsume. So story, the story is that you wake up on an island. Long story short, basically. You get to take care of this farm and uh, clear out the farmland and use it. On this island there is a lighthouse and the lights went out of the lighthouse. There was a storm on this island that resulted in everyone that lived on the island, they moved away. So it's an abandoned island, no one lives there. But they are coming back slowly because you, as a player, you repair houses across the entire island with your resources that you find around. So basically the story is that you need to get the lighthouse up and running again and get people to move back to the island. Gameplay! So if you are unfamiliar with farming simulators, you till the soil, you buy seeds, there are in-game calendar and in-game days and weather and you sow your seeds, they will grow up after a few days, you ship them off and you get money from it, you know, that kind of cycle. Like I said, this uh, game has a Harvest Moon recipe gameplay already, yes it does. You take care of this farm and you can walk around and forage stuff on the ground, you can do fishing, which was kind of like, it's not the best fishing ever. You can talk with villagers when they move to the town, you know. You get uh, equipment like the hoe, the watering can. You unlock every equipment gradually in the game. When you progress the story, there is actually a little, uh, you know, story to progress. There are also requests from characters in the game. You get that in the mailbox. It can be like, I want three tulips, I want two milk, or five stones delivery quests. You will gradually unlock more and more island locations. It's taking some time actually. So it's really slow game but this kind of, I mean farming simulators and life simulators, I am all about them. They are supposed to be slow progressing so progression uh, feeling is nice. Uh, I can uh, confirm that I feel that is good. Also when I sat down with this game I immediately know what to do because of games like Harvest Moon that I grew up with, Harvest Moon for the SNES, Friends of Mineral Town, Wonderful Life, freaking every single Harvest Moon game that I own and Stardew Valley. I will do more comparisons to Stardew Valley because people know of Stardew Valley more than Harvest Moon with the success of Stardew Valley anyway. This game has pretty much the same gameplay as Stardew Valley just 90% less content than Stardew Valley. Let's talk about the graphics. The graphics they are poor and they are terrible. The running animation, it is terrible. The character animations, 
or simple. When I play this, I can't help but think of all the things that I would change if I was in charge uh, of this game. You know, because it does have potential, but you know, the graphics, it's so bad. It looks like some sort of cheap ass flash game that should be free on the cell phone. Something like that. Cheap ass flash game, basically. You can zoom in and you can zoom out, but that is pretty much it. It's a plus in my book that it is colorful because, you know, green grass game and all of that. But I could create these graphics. They should have worked more on the graphics, uh, so super bad. Now over to the music. It's terrible. <laughs> The music and the sound effects are actually really bad as well, super terrible. I think the development team put all their efforts into the gameplay and totally rushed graphics and music. With this said, graphics and music totally sucks. I have to say that the core gameplay is fun. I couldn't put this game away when I started playing it because I got into this routine and uh, this kind of rhythm with the game because I really enjoy this kind of genre. So gameplay is actually decent. Okay, anyway, more about the music. There is a stamina bar uh, when you work the land, the farm. You cannot do a lot of things in one day. You will collapse and die. That is how you die in the game. When you are low on health, this very annoying sound comes. You know, like Legend of Zelda, when you have half a heart left, it's an annoying beeping sound. They didn't need to put that in because normally in the start of a day in a game like this, a farming simulator, you do your farm work until you have almost used up all your stamina and they, then you go around uh, talk with the villagers. That is how I do this. But I can't do that. Uh, not down until I get that beeping sound. I So annoying. And also in summer there's this annoying chirping sound effect. Annoying chirping sounds like like insects and stuff like <sighs> you know my advice is to play this game with low volume or just no volume at all. I played this game with no volume. The music is bad and the sound effects are even worse. So the verdict of Harvest Moon is that you need to really enjoy this sort of game. This sort of recipe, farming simulators. This game could be a quick fix for those who are really hungry for more Stardew Valley. It is okay, it's just not really good. But I am the sort of person that can enjoy this game. It kinda is for me, but it's not for everyone. So you gotta know yourself. If it was between this one and Stardew Valley, Stardew Valley is much cheaper by the way. You should start with Stardew Valley. If you're damn tired of Stardew Valley, this is good just to have a little quick fix on that sort of gameplay. That was all for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Follow my Twitter. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you later.